guys, Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. Today I want to show you some of my favorite class setups for the MP5. Maybe it'll give you an idea of something you can run with the MP5 if you have not played with it just yet. The first class setup I'm going to show you is going to be kind of more of my ranged class. This is something I can use to get some good shots at range. Now it is a sub, so just remember you're not going to be able to just beat ARs all the time at range, but this class setup is pretty viable in my opinion for a range submachine gun. The first thing we're going to run here is the monolithic integral suppressor, which is sound suppression and bullet velocity, but you're going to have a reduction in aim down sight speed. Now since we're going with a ranged class, I usually go with a sight. You can run whatever you like. I prefer the GI Mini Reflex. It, just has, a, it has a very clear picture, so it's very easy to see while running around with a submachine gun. You can go with the Ranger foregrip, the Commando foregrip. Those are my two personal favorites, whichever one you like better. Of course, the Ranger is recoil control, aim stability. Of course, you have the negatives of aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed. The Commando is recoil stabilization and aiming stability with a reduction in movement speed. So whichever one you like, just run, you know, whatever you're comfortable with. Then I go with the 10 round, uh, 10 millimeter, 30 round mag, excuse me, I got that backwards, which gives you more damage and more range, but fire rate reduction and aiming recoil control reduction. Believe me, it, it sounds like it could be worse than it is. You think, oh, I have a less fire rate, less aiming uh, recoil control. But be believe me when I say it, these magazines right here are absolutely brutal and make this gun a step above what it is without them on. So it's definitely worth trying out. And when it comes to the rear grip, always stiffle grip tape. Unless a weapon has crazy, crazy recoil, I will use the rubber rubberized grip tape. But stiffle grip tape is always my go-to because of that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. And you get a little bit of reduction in aiming stability. Now, if you wanted to even this out a little more, you could drop this grip and go with the classic straight line stock, which will give you a little bit more of that aiming stability back. And that aim walking movement speed will be the negative. Either way is really, really good. So you can try either one of those if you would like to swap it up just a bit. Now, when it comes to secondary weapon, I always run the Deagle unless I'm playing Ground War. Ground War, I always have an RPG on. Perks, EOD, Ghost, and Tune Up. Uh, Lethal's always Simtex. And of course, my tactical is always Stem. Now, for the next class, it's still going to be a silence class. You can run this without a silencer. I just prefer this weapon with a silencer a lot more than I do without one. So. The next class we're going to have is more of a run and gun style class. Now there's a different way we can run this as well that I'll show you here in just a second. But the uh, barrel we're going to go with here is going to be the subsonic integral suppressor. Now this one has a little bit different kind of stats than the monolithic suppressor. This one has sound suppression, no visible tracers, aim down sight speed, and no enemy skulls. The downside to this is it does have a good bit of damage drop off. So your, your bullet velocity is going to be dropped off a, a good bit. So you're going to have to hit a few more shots down range if you want to try to kill somebody at range. This is why I use this more for kind of a run and gun class on smaller maps or if I'm going to just hang around a certain, you know, flag or something like that, I will use this. The main reason is that sound suppression, no visible tracers, you got aim down sight speed and no enemy skulls. So if the team that you're playing is not playing together, they're not talking, you can get in a group of people and pick them off very, very easily and they'll never know you're there. This is a, this suppressor is very, very handy in my opinion. Of course, I'm going to go with the laser again. If you're going to have a run and gun style class, I go with the one milliwatt. Same as we talked about before, you can go with the five milliwatt. I prefer the one just because that way, if I have to pre-aim someone, they're not going to know I'm there. Uh, the next thing I'm going to go with, of course, the Ranger foregrip again or the Commando foregrip, whichever one you would like. I go with the 10 millimeter round, uh, the 10 millimeter 30 round mag once again and the stippled grip tape. The way you could change this up, if you wanted to make it just a bit different, uh, you could slap this 45 round mag on and also slap on either the TAC Ultralight stock, which gives you aim walking movement speed with a, a con of aiming stability. You go with the collapsible, which is movement speed, aim down sight speed, of course, recoil control and aiming stability is the con, or you could even go with the close quarters, whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for more movement speed or ADS speed, I usually go with the Ultralight or the collapsible. These two are my personal favorites with this kind of setup with the 45 rounds. Now you're going to have to be pretty close because you can see that range is reduced pretty, pretty, a pretty good bit and the control is going to be a little off. You're, you're going to see a little bit more visual recoil. But with this class, you can kind of stay up in a spawn a little bit longer with that 45 round mag instead of the 30 round uh, 10 millimeter. But you're going to see a lot more production in my opinion with the 10 millimeter round mag. So if you just wanted to change it up, you could go with that 45 round mag. But 
this way would be just as good, in my opinion, to run this as well. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the MP5. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Share the video if you can. It does help out the channel a lot. Click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.